From the world's largest land dinosaurs to a giant fish with teeth that look like a circular saw, here are another 11 of the scariest prehistoric animals. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 11. Diplodocus Sauropods are mostly depicted as gentle giants, which isn't far from the truth for these enormous herbivores. Nevertheless, they did own some features that made them quite frightening. Sheer size was one of them, as these were among the largest known dinosaurs, with weights that exceeded 100 tons and lengths that often surpassed 100 feet. Sauropods had small heads when compared to the rest of the body, very long necks and massive bodies supported by pillar-like legs. In fact, their skeletal structure has been compared to that of a suspension bridge. One well-known sauropod is Diplodocus. Aside from being gigantic, one of its physical features had some remarkable properties. The Diplodocus had a very long tail, similar in proportions to a bullwhip. It would use its tail to defend itself against predators and even for communication. Researchers believe that a 9 degree side to side flick of the tail would cause the tip to reach speeds of 750 miles per hour. Some paleontologists believe that the crack of their tails at the full range of motion could break the sound barrier. Being at the receiving end of such a tail whip would undoubtedly have had devastating consequences. Number 10. Dinochirus Dinochirus is part of a dinosaur family that superficially resembled present-day ostriches. Its full name, Dinochirus merificus, is derived from Greek and it means horrible hand. Aside from a few small bones, all that was initially discovered of this species was a complete pair of large arms and shoulder girdles. Each of its three-fingered hands featured massive blunt claws. It's been theorized that the Dinochirus might have used its claws as defensive weapons or to tear apart large dinosaurs. While the T-Rex is well known for its short arms, it's believed that Dinochirus had the longest arms of all bipedal dinosaur species. That combined with a maximum length of 36 feet and an estimated weight of 14,000 pounds made it a force to be reckoned with during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. Number 9. Crassogyrinus This scary aquatic animal looked like a cross between a salamander and a moray eel. It had four stunted legs, a long, sinuous body, and a massive head with unusually large jaws that featured long, sharp teeth, rarely exceeding six feet in length. But that didn't mean it wasn't an apt predator. Its streamlined body enabled it to move quickly in the water. From the evidence provided by its bone structure, paleontologists believed that it had powerful muscles focused towards providing a strong bite. Its jaws were capable of opening up to 60 degrees before this animal would clamp down on its prey, much like a crocodile. Number 8. Arctodus even when it stood on all fours, Arctodus, also known as the short-faced bear, was tall enough to look an adult human in the eye. This was due to its long legs, which enabled it to reach running speeds between 30 and 40 miles per hour. It's been theorized that the bear would hunt down Pleistocene herbivores like saiga antelopes and wild horses using a cheetah-like technique. Yet its skeleton didn't really allow for sharp turns, so it would mostly rely on its endurance. That doesn't mean that it didn't have mass. Some specimens weighed close to 2,100 pounds, making Arctodus the world's largest known carnivorous land mammal. When standing on its hind legs, it measured a towering 12 feet. Number 7. Nothosaurus The Nothosaurus lived during the Triassic period and it's believed that it had a lifestyle similar to today's seals. That may sound harmless enough, except for the fact that this creature could reach lengths of up to 25 feet and basically 
looked like a giant swimming lizard. As a semi-oceanic animal, it had a long tail and webbed toes, which it used to quickly propel itself and steer through the water. It had long jaws, and its skull was broad and flat. Once the Nothosaurus sunk its needle-like teeth into its prey, the chances of escaping were close to none. It caught fish and various other marine creatures. A full skeleton of a Nothosaurus species, called Nothosaurus rabbi, can be found at Berlin's Natural History Museum. Number 6. Pulmonoscorpius Its name literally translates as Lung Scorpion, and it's a predatory arachnid from the early Carboniferous period, around 330 million years ago. Its fossils were found at a quarry in Scotland. This ancient scorpion species dwarfed its present-day successors with a total body length that could reach two and a half feet. Not much is known about this giant scorpion's diet or of the potency of its venom. Based on the estimated size of the pinchers in relation to the tail, its sting would have been strong enough to take out early reptiles. Some paleontologists believe that the Pulmonoscorpius would rely on its venomous sting to attack larger prey, which it could later manipulate with its pinches. Number 5. Gorgonopsia Gorgonopsiums roamed the Earth roughly 250 million years ago and became the apex predators of the late Permian. These animals had a gait similar to a crocodile's high walk, which enabled them to be faster than their prey. Their most prominent feature was their long saber-toothed canines. With short legs and slender bodies, these animals were skilled ambush predators. They first waited until they had a clear path to their prey. Gorgonopsiums would then use their speed to lunge at their prey with their forelimbs and attack it with their saber teeth. During the Middle Permian, these creatures would only grow on average to the size of a dog. Then, with the extinction of competing predators, some Gorgonopsiums grew close to the size of an adult rhinoceros. Inostrancivia is the largest known Gorgonopsium. Its body measured a total of 11 and a half feet with a narrow skull of up to 24 inches in length. Number 4. Meganeuropsis Those who are scared of insects should be glad this creature from the Permian period isn't still around today. A distant relative of today's dragonfly, Meganeuropsis permiana is basically the largest insect that ever lived. It had a total body length of close to 17 inches and a wingspan of approximately 28 inches. It may have even preyed on animals as large as frogs for sustenance. One theory is that the Meganeuropsis was able to grow so large because at that time the planet's oxygen levels were much higher. Number 3. Carnotaurus This was one of the scariest animals of late Cretaceous period. This is evident by the name Carnotaurus, which is derived from Latin and translates as meat-eating bull. Like the notorious T-Rex, the Carnotaurus was part of the theropod family, which generally consisted of large bipedal carnivores. Its build, however, was lighter and more adapted for running than that of Tyrannosaurus. It was possibly one of the fastest theropods. The bull part of its name describes the thick, conical horns that were front placed above its eyes. This was a unique feature that set them apart from other carnivorous dinosaurs. It's been proposed that Carnotaurus would use their strong horns for fighting their rivals by ramming each other head on. Their deep skulls and thick muscular necks were strong enough to absorb the impact of frontal collisions. Their feeding habits are still being debated. Some experts believe that they mainly preyed on smaller animals, while others believed that they tackled prey as large as sauropods. Number 2. Mosasaurs Before they went extinct about 66 million years ago, large mosasaurs were the dominant marine predators. 
Their bodies resemble that of modern monitor lizards, only more adapted for swimming, with paddle-like members and broad tails, which may have had large flukes at the end. Like some snake species, they had flexible skulls and double-hinged jaws that enabled them to swallow their prey almost whole. Their swimming prowess, strong bite, and massive conical teeth did indeed contribute to their apex status, but sheer size was perhaps their greatest asset. The largest mosasaur species, like Mosasaurus hoffmani, could reach lengths of up to 56 feet, which placed them among the largest predators swimming in the water at the time. Number 1. Helicoprion Helicoprion lived in the world's oceans during the early Permian, around 290 million years ago. This shark-like fish would average 25 feet in length and weigh close to half a ton. Instead of the tooth placement that is typical for most of today's fish and sharks, the Helicoprion had a tooth wall, similar to a circular saw. As the fish got older, the smaller teeth were pushed to the center of the wall by larger, newer teeth. The Helicoprion skeleton was made of cartilage, meaning that the entire body would disintegrate once decay set in. The clusters of spirally arranged teeth were the only fossils that remained of the Helicoprion. Since the first fossils were examined in 1899, there has been a great deal of debate regarding the placement of the teeth on the fish's jaw. A 3D reconstruction finally revealed that the serrated tooth spiral was located at the back of the lower jaw, entirely inside the mouth. Through a rollback slicing mechanism, this terrifying fish would rip its prey to shreds. It's suspected that it might have been one of the apex predators of its time. <laughs>